jet set scars that never felt a wound. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Julia is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief. That thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious, her festal livery green, but sick, and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off. It is my lady, oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. Ah, me. She speaks, oh, speak again, bright angel, for thou art as glorious to this night, being o'er my head as a winged messenger from heaven. Oh, Romeo, oh, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak of this? Tis but thy name, thou art thyself not, thou not a Montague. What's a Montague? It's nor hand, nor foot, no arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? Though that which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called. I take thee at thy word, call me but love, and I'll be a new baptized, henceforth I'll never be Romeo. Too well, be who I am, my name, dear saint, is hateful to myself, because it is an enemy to me. Had I it written, I would never tear of the word. What man art thou, that thus be screened, in night so stumbled, lest on thy, my counsel? How camest thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore, wherefore the orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place to death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love's light, wings did o'er perch these walls for stony limits, and cannot hold out love. They will murder thee. Alack, there lies more pearl in thine eye than twenty of their swords. Look but sweet, and I am proof against their amenity. I would not, for the world, they saw thee here. I have knight's cloak to hide me from their sight, and but thou love me, let me find thee here. By whose directions founts thou out at this place? By love, who did first prompt me to inquire, and led me to the council, and I led them mine eyes, and I am I'm no pilot, yet wert thou as far as the vast shore washed with the farthest sea, and I would adventure for the such merchandise. Mm. Thou knowest the mask of might <clears throat> is on my face, else would a maiden blush be paint on my cheek, for that which thou hast heard me speak tonight, fain would I dwell on, for fain, fain deny what I have spoke but farewell compliment. Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say, A. Lady, by yonder blessed moon I swear, that tips with silver all these fruit tree tops. Oh, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon, that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise bearable. What shall I swear by? Well, do not swear, although I joy in thee. I have no joy to this contract tonight. It is too rash. Too undevised, too sudden, too like the lightning, which doth cease to be, ere one can say, it lightens, sweet. Good night, this bud of love by summer's ripening breath may prove a be beauteous flower when next we meet. Good night, good night. Oh, 
wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow to mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it, and yet I would it where to give again. Wouldst thou love withdraw it? For what propose love? But to be frank, and give it thee again, and yet I wish, but for the thing I have, my love is deep the more I give to thee, the more I have for both our infinite. I hear some noise within, my love, adieu. Anon, good nurse, sweet Montague, be true. The night, I'm afeard by being in the night. All this is to be a dream, too flattering, too sweet, too subtle. Oh, and good night indeed. If that thy bent of love be honorable, thy purpose marriage, send me word tomorrow by one that I'll procure to come to thee. Where and what time thou wilt perform the right, and all my fortunes at thy foot, I'll lay and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. Leon! But if thou meant'st not well, I do Leon! beseech thee. Bye bye, I come. To seize thy suit and leave me to my grief, tomorrow I will send. So thrive my soul. A thousand times good night. Romeo! My dear? What at what o'clock tomorrow should I send to thee? By the hour of nine. Sweet uh, yeah, I should kill thee with much cherishing. Good night, good night, parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be tomorrow. And I'm Sleep dwell upon thine eyes, peace in thy breast. Would I were sleep and peace so sweet to rest? Hence will to my ghostly father sell his help to crave and my her dear harp to tell. Again. What at uh, what o'clock tomorrow? Sweet, yeah, I should kill thee with much cherishing. Okay. Where's Carol's up there? Oh, yeah.